Hey guys, it's Peyton. So today I'm going to be doing my makeup collection and um, I've changed up my makeup collection a lot throughout like the years of me like doing my makeup and all this stuff. So, um, and I've like given away lots of my makeup. So I think I have a good amount of makeup, but I really wanted to do this video because me and Gracie haven't been posting videos lately. That was kind of my fault because um, I accidentally deleted the uh, videos. It's a long story, but I did it on accident. Um, it's just a really long story, like, the memory got full, and then I accidentally deleted them. It was just really bad, so, um, yeah, that was kind of a fail. So, we're sorry about that, and I really wanted to get one of these videos up, and Gracie thought it would be a good idea, so I wanted to do it. So, we can go ahead and get started, and I, I feel like I have a decent amount of makeup, so, yeah. But, um, yeah, so, this kind of vanity slash bookshelf, and it's actually a bookshelf, I would say, because it says it's a bookshelf when you buy it. I mean, it has, like, three things on it. Sorry, that's, like, my hair stuff. But I use the top of it for, like, a vanity, and I have, like, a vanity thing over there. Sorry. My toe. Yeah, anyways. Long story. But if you have a room tour, just tell me in the comments, because, yeah, um, but anyways, so this is a bookshelf, but I use it as um, a vanity, and I really like it. I've had it this way for, like, almost a week, and I just think it looks really nice. Um, yeah, so I got this idea from Miss Megan Makeup. She did, like, um, makeup collection, like, I guess, like, a couple months ago or something, and her makeup collection was set up like this, and I really liked it. So um, I wanted to do it, and I like watching these videos because I get tons of tips and tricks from it so we can go ahead and get started so this bookshelf type thing you can get them at walmart we have them all over our house because we like to just keep stuff like like books and stuff in it but they come in black brown and white and obviously i have the white one so i got mine in white and then my mirror over here is from like a discount of flea market i guess you could say and the, re the reason it's flipped up is because there's like a glare because my windows are open and um yeah i didn't want the, the, there to be a, like a random glare so i put it right there and it's really good to do your makeup over here because there's like natural light coming in so I like that, and it'd be good for, like, future tutorials and stuff. Um, and then I have, like, this little, um, body mist. And this is a little Bath and Body Works one. I like to spray this when I'm done getting ready. And then, um, kind of getting into the makeup stuff. I have these little, like, I guess you could say containers. Um, and these were actually Bath and Body Works candles. And I gutted, like, the can- Ooh, weird lighting. And I kind of gutted the candles and, um made them into like holders so I have my brush holders and then I use q-tips all the time because I get mascara all over my eyeshadow so I have to clean it up with that and I use just q-tips in general like a lot so I always fill up on those and then my brushes um some of the brushes I have in here are like Revlon Sun Kashuk, Beauty Gems, Urban Decay, Elf, just like random brands L'Oreal um so yeah and I wish my naked palette would stop okay um, and then I have my Naked palette right there. This is the Naked one, and it's just, like, the brown one. And short little story about this. Like, right before I filmed this video, um, I was kind of, like, cleaning up my makeup collection because it was kind of dirty because I just got ready. And this was up behind this makeup box, and it fell behind, like, my makeup thing. So I had to, like, move this whole thing and get it. So that was kind of bad. So I put it right here now, and then these little things hold it up. So, yeah, I love this palette anyways. And then on top, I have my makeup remover wipes. And these are the Neutrogena uh, makeup remover wipes. I just keep them up there so they're just easy access. And then I have a vanilla berry sorbet hand cream thing. I mean, hand cream, hand sanitizer because I use that before I do my makeup. Um, this container I have my makeup in um, is actually from Walmart. And this has, like, five drawers. And it actually fits a lot of my makeup. And it fits all of my makeup, actually. So, I really like these, and then in the future, when my makeup collection grows a little bit more, um, then I could probably get a second one and put it, like, right over there. And, I forgot to mention this, but, um, a couple months back, um, I had, like, more makeup than this. Like, all this makeup, and then a drawer was full of makeup, but I didn't use it all, so I gave most of it to my mom, so that's why, um... 
it's kind of like just this one. So it has five little drawers, pull out drawers, and it's really handy and I really like it. So we can go ahead and get started in the makeup collection. So drawer number one, I just have just BB creams, I like all face stuff. So I have two of my Maybelline Dream Fresh BB creams, two of my Rimmel Match Perfection. These are like backups and backups too. And then I have a Meryl Norman concealer. And this is like a summer shade because it's like really dark. It's in the color Warm Medium. This was my mom's, but she like let me have it because it, I guess she just didn't use it. It's like really full coverage and it's supposed to be waterproof. So I was like, okay. And then I have this Ulta Fabulous Face. Um concealer so if this is going to be really wobbly but whatever then i have my favorite um powder this is the Rimmel stay matte then i have an elf pressed powder back here. Like this. so yeah right there and then i have a blush this is rose silk by uh covergirl not rebel and covergirl and i use this every day and then i have my nyc smooth skin balancing face powder so Basically that and yeah, I don't really have a ton of foundation because I don't wear foundation um, a lot because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I don't need it. So when I do wear like a uh, full face, I guess you could say, I wear BB cream because um, it gives me really good coverage. And then my second drawer is kind of like my eye drawer, my first eye drawer. And um, I just use like the cream eyeshadows, like this is just like cream and powder obviously. So I have a little random true match blush back there because it wouldn't fit in this short. And then I have a L'Oreal uh, Hip Studio uh, little eye duo and this is an Electrify. And then I have four Maybelline color tattoos. I have Inked and Pink Barely Branded. That's the bronze and toughest taupe. I don't like toughest taupe because it's like a concrete color and it's not cute. But um, I like all the rest of them. I just don't like... Um, Type of taupe, so yeah, and then I have some Revlon cream eyeshadows back there, and this is in Skin Lights, and then I have this little eye quad or eye palette from NYC, and I use just the matte brown in the middle to fill my eyebrows, and it's kind of a waste of room, but I just need that matte brown color because it's like the perfect shade for my eyebrows, but yeah, um, and then like I said, the Revlon. Once, and then I have my Rimmel uh, Glamize Quad in Oron, I think that's how you pronounce it. And two of these little CoverGirl quads, and they're both in concealer. So, I have that. And sometimes why I have doubles is either they're backups like this, like, for example, this. Either they're backups, or I'm not saying I'm a professional makeup artist whatsoever, but um, sometimes I do people's makeup, and it's good to have, like, backups of stuff. So, I have those. And then in the third drawer, I have just um, mascaras and then there's tons of eyeliners hiding back there. So, yeah. Just like liquid eyeliners from like L'Oreal to In Color to CoverGirl to Urban Decay. Um, and then I have primers and then a NYX jumbo eye pencil. Urban Decay mascara, CoverGirl, Great Lash clear mascara for my eyebrows, two Maybelline, the Rockets. Um, the L'Oreal Power Volume Collagen and the L'Oreal Shocking Extensions. And I really don't like these, but I've been using these lately and they're pretty good. This one's waterproof. I got it on accident and waterproof. And, um, the other one's alright. So, and then an eyelash curl. And then these two mirrors back here are for, like, when I do my eye makeup. I like, like, my eyeliner and mascara. I like to have these so I can, like, really get it precise because it annoys me when my eyeliner and stuff is not perfect. And then I have my L'Oreal 24-hour, like, little eyeliner, and it's the gel one. And it's supposed to be, like, waterproof or something, but it does not come off. And then the fourth drawer that I have is, like, my lip drawer. Sorry, I'm sitting down. My lip drawer, and, um, yeah, so what I have in here is, like, all my baby lips. So this is, like, the whole roll of Maybelline. So, I have baby lips. I have more baby lips than this, but these are, like, my most favorites. Um, but I really don't like this one. This is Coral Crush, and I don't like it, but it just fits, so, yeah. So, I have Pink Punch, Coral Crush, and, um, Pink Wink, Melon Mania, and Peach Kiss. And then, this is a Color Whisper in Faint for Fuchsia, and a Vivid in Pink Pop. So, that's my whole little Maybelline line. My favorites are just, like... The, well, the ones that I've been wearing lately are Pink pu pink Punch and uh, Melon Mania, but I love them all. Um, and then I have a little sample of a body scrub that I need to use, and I keep on getting in the shower because I was wondering if I wanted to buy it or not, so he gave me a little sample, and I keep on forgetting to use it. And then I have a Lush 
lip balm and this is the honey trap one and then a lip scrub it's like the chocolate and vanilla one it tastes really good because i guess it's edible i don't eat it though i just like lick it off my lips and then i have a co bigelow like a little lip balm thing that's like heavy duty like before i go to bed like the honey trap lip balm and then that are like really good for like nighttime and then i have um three lipsticks a revlon lip gloss a revlon ultimate suede lip lipstick and then I have a Revlon Primrose um, Super Luscious Lipstick. And then I have a Wet n Wild Lipstick in 901B. So um, this one's in Peach Petal. This one's in High Heels. This one's in Primrose. And then this one's in 901B, whatever. And then um, I have two lip glosses or one lip gloss. And then this is like a glossy bomb. This is the CoverGirl Jumbo Gloss Bomb. And then this is like, I think they're called like the High Shine something when you get these and you pull off the package it's like gone for life so i'm like okay and it's in the color um electric shock if you remember and then the gloss bombs and watermelon twist and then my last drawer is just like a random stuff that i really don't use or i use on other people so i have an elf a uh, little quad and a love and beauty quad you know just like cheap stuff like that and then i have an eyelash curler i mean an eyelash curler and um pencil sharpener and then an eyelash curler so yeah that was basically my makeup collection i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's kind of long it's like almost like 12 minutes but um i hope you guys enjoyed this and leave some uh what is it i cannot think of anything today i'm being so stupid okay um and leave some requests in the down bar and i'll see you guys later bye